Okay, so today we are gonna be doing something that we didn't plan on doing, but we needed to do, and that is going to be to replace a slide ski. Um, our slide ski went bad at our uh, Big Bend trip and just came out. It just cracked and fell apart. And if you don't know what a slide ski is, it's for when your slide goes in and out, it provides a good smooth surface that doesn't tear up the wood flooring of the slide to slide in and out pretty easily. And so I uh, watched a couple uh, videos on how people did this, so I figured I'd give it a shot. I'm going to let you guys know if it was easy. And also, you guys can learn from the mistakes that I will make, and I'll try to clearly explain where I made mistakes. And so, yeah, we're going to divide this into, uh, I guess, you know, the preparation and the actual execution of this whole thing. And so for preparation, we're going to start by isolating our slides. And if you don't have that ability... Um, you'll have to check with your specific brand of RV, but there should be knobs somewhere where you can cut off basically the uh, hydraulic power to the slides or just turn it off. I'm sure there's multiple ways you can do this, but so we're going to do that. And then we're going to remove what's left of the old slide ski, which I don't think there is anything left. I think I got it all. Clean up the edges and whatnot. Um, do our, use our replacement slide skis. We went with the duo slide skis. They're a little bit wider, which I like the extra surface area. And then tack it all back together, glue it all up, and call it a day. So uh, first things first, we're going to go find our um, our ports that turn on and off each side of our slide. Something I should have done a long time ago. We're also going to use a label maker to label them. And then I'm going to steal some of Amanda's nail polish so that I can always get them back to the original location. So we'll go from there. Okay, so as you can see, the expanding foam is on top of mine. So the only way to really figure out what's going on with this is to just essentially turn one off and bring your slides in. So I'm going to carve this away and then I'm going to also, I'll show you guys me marking this with the nail polish so you can always understand what we're doing. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to put it like a dab right there and put a dab down here and put a dab right there and a dab down here so that we can see where we want things to line up. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll come back. So I'm gonna take a guess and say that the right side is gonna refer to the passenger or the right side of the RV. So what we want to do is we want to count how many circles we make closing this thing. That's one. Two. Three. And a half. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so it wasn't, this one wasn't the right one. This one was, weirdly though, this one went four and a half turns and this one was only three and a half. So, all right, let's try this again. That was it. Our other slide did not move. Okay, so this one does control the passenger, the fun side of the RV's slide. So I put that one back and this one turns off the kitchen or business side of the slide. And this one was four and a half turns. So I am gonna make a note of that. I'm gonna clean this up so I can put some labels on and I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, you can see now I marked it, my business slide cut off my passenger slide cut off and how many turns that I, uh, they take to shut off just so that if I ever need to do this again I don't have to go through the trial and error all right now we're gonna get get uh, rocking and rolling on the um, on the actual slide ski part okay so as you can see there's still parts of this slide ski on there but it's supposed to be a slide ski that runs 
this whole length and up underneath and you can see where the the tape is that we're going to clean off to give you an idea this is something you should actually probably check on your rig um here let me show you okay so this is the other slide ski we got a broken piece it's falling down we got a crack just all sorts of issues um not really sure what caused it but it is something that is fixable and so the first thing we're going to do is start by taking everything off so what i did is i did pull the slide in i'm gonna pull it in a little bit more to show you we need to take this screw out and we'll probably take this one out and then we'll run the slide back out so that we can get the that cap off so we have now removed all of these screws we're going to set them aside we will reuse those and then the easiest way i found to get to this is to just sort of lift it up and we're going to flex okay it's got a good grip so try taking a quick blade to this and see what we get all right let's go the rest of the way well there we go and you can see they just used a uh, cheap piece of foam we're going to replace that with some butyl tape so we'll set this aside for now and then the next part i'll keep recording but it's just going to be removing all of this That was the piece we needed to get out. We did end up loosening this bolt, and this one is for our skirting. It's special. You guys may or may not have this, depending on where you live. But um, so yeah, now we're gonna scrape all this off, and then scrape this stuff off the bottom, and go from there. So the cleaning and surface preparation of the rv slide was actually pretty time consuming you can see that we used a plastic scraper a metal scraper we tried a razor blade and a scouring pad eventually we ended up using uh, mineral spirits with paper towels wiping it letting it sit for a minute and then scraping and then re-wiping and re-scraping which is how we got a really nice clean surface for the application of the new ski and talk about these these are the duo form slide out skis and these things are massive and they do send sticky tape for you to use as well but pretty much they're universal so it can be that side of the slide or you flip around and you have this side of the slide and um the difference is, is the original slides were only about this wide. I don't know if you can really tell, but like this has so much more surface area. The plastic's not, you know, breaking as I touch it. And so this is going to be our next adventure after we lift the slide up a little bit and we're going to jack it up. Um, there are, I'm sure, safe ways and unsafe ways to do this. I have seen... Uh, quite a few videos where they just use a bottle jack and a two a four by four and a piece of wood That's ultimately what we're gonna do um, But our next step once we get it jacked up is we have to 
figure out how much we have to cut off because they come longer than the slide. And so, and then we're gonna need to trim this up. So our next step is to lift the slide okay. up. Okay, so we got two by four, a little stubby 20 ton bottle jack, and we have two two by 12s up here supporting this. And we're just gonna raise it ever so slightly. And it's sort of hard to see, but like, we're, we're raising it like by quarter of inch increments. We're just looking to have enough room to get under there. Now we don't obviously want to stick our hands under there unless we have to, but that's uh, the premise of what we're doing right now. And we want to be cognizant of not pushing up against the top part of the frame of the slide. And so we're literally going to get enough room to work and then we're going to stop which is right there. Now, our next thing we will do is we will cut, uh, I have a, like a scrap piece of two by four. I'm just gonna cut a strip off, stick it underneath of, inside the slide in a couple places where it'll fit. That way, if the jack fails for any reason, I don't lose a hand and if my hands are under there, which is obviously not ideal. So we're gonna get to that. So now that we have our slide jacked up, we're gonna look and you can see it's lifted up, so we're gonna put a board under, put a board under, make sure that we're trying to work as safe as possible. Actually, we're gonna do it like that. We're gonna try and make sure that we're safe while we work. And so our next thing is to get the slide ski and measure. And actually we could probably run a tape measure up underneath this and get pretty close to our measurement um, for what we need. Let's give that a shot. First lesson learned is that even though the slide is lifted up high enough for what we need to do it with, we couldn't fit a tape measure underneath. And I really only want to do this cut once. And so we're going to use a fabric tape measure and run this up and through. I'm going to let Amanda hold that right at the end. And then I'm going to measure from there. Forty-five on the nose. Ooh, I almost made a mistake just now. Because the way I'm holding it is for the other slide. If I had measured and cut, I would have cut it for the other side. So I need to actually flip it around like this. It says this slide fits in like this. Another lesson learned. Um, so I said 45. I'm gonna measure 45 from the bottom of this lip, which will give me a little bit of extra wiggle room for what I need to do if I need to make any adjustments. So now I need another set of my hands. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do a quick dry fit. And so to do this, we're gonna slide it in from inside the RV coming down on you need to go flat honey I'm just doing it. It looks really good. How's it where you are? It's perfect. Perfect. So obviously we'll have to push this up and I'm not gonna do that right now, but um, you gotta think about your clearance. So a couple of things for us is we have these cords. So what I'm gonna do is I'll trim a section because we have to make room for all these. So. We will trim um, on the bottom side a section where all these will fit through. Is it still good where it's at? Right on the corner. It's having some trouble right at the Yeah, we'll get to that too. And 
and we'll need to come basically all the way up to the edge of this right here and then we can caulk that in. All right. I need to pull it back that way a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Perfect, and then we can fill that with great stuff. That'll be good. Okay, so now comes the fun part is taping all this down. So we're gonna push this back out and get it ready to go. Sent 10 feet, which is enough to do one strip for each slide. So we're gonna use this for one strip and then we'll do a layer of butyl tape. And so we're gonna keep it a quarter of an inch from this corner. And we're going to leave a little bit of an overlap, and I'll explain why here in a sec. Now on top of that, we're going to add our butyl tape. Set that off to the side. And I'm gonna do a whole strip of butyl tape here and here, just in case water has somehow manages to get in. Let's get this bad boy put in place. We, so one of the things that we've already done is we've already prepped this, we've wiped everything down, we've gotten rid of all the dirt and grime. Everywhere there's gonna be an adhesive surface. It is an important thing to remember. Um, the cleaner the better. It is worth the elbow grease to do that. And so now we're going to do this. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel back about this much for each of these strips, assuming that my fingernails help. My, my hands are all sticky. See, we want this to go under so when it goes through, we can mm -hmm. grab it. Okay, before we put it any further in place, I'm gonna see if I can get under there and grab those. And I can't. Thank you, love. So, what we'll do is we'll just use piece of masking tape, tape those down as we push this through. <clears throat> How are we fitting up there? How are we looking up there for a fit? Is that room to go back? We just don't want that kind of pressure. We want it to fit right. smooth. Okay, you gotta turn the off. Luckily it's right here. We gotta trim some more of this off. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with this side. 
yeah, so press up and over like you want to push it like this way if you can like Which way? towards the side of the slide so literally just yeah we want it the the bottom corner to be matched and you may have a little bit of gap i think i have a tiny bit you will Our last bit is to scrape all this off and use beetle tape. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use this jack one more time to really press up on the bottom. So we're gonna put, the, put everything back in place and then just push on this and let it hold and then we'll slide over and let it hold again so that we can make sure we have a really good seal on everything. So <clears throat> let's get to work. And then let it hold here for a minute, shift down. I didn't see anybody else do this. A lot of people use the rubber hammer like a, or the dead blow mallet. We did that, but it's just still not holding quite like I want it to. So we're gonna do this. I, need, I can cut this. I can, I know how to do this without anyone's help. I can do this. All right, cut, turn, turn. All right, on to the next side. That's good. never seen anything more brilliant than what you just literally did. What do you have to say for yourself? I hate caulking. <laughs> That's amazing. 
What do you think, Zuko? We'll have to bring the slide in and do that last little bit. Okay. Zuko approves. He said you did great. Okay, so we stopped because the sun came out and it's supposed to rain tonight. But I wanted to show you uh, a couple of things. One, I did go back and caulk it. Now, I did it the lazy way where I put a strip of painter's tape or masking tape and then just ran my finger along and then pulled the tape up, which worked great. But some other things I want to show you that I did better on this side is I put the um I can't even remember the name. I put the tape the butyl tape there, got it. I put the butyl tape closer to the edge, and so I will go back and trim this up here in a sec, but it has a much better press down seal on this side than it does on the other side of this slide. But I mean, it looks great. We just ran the slides in and out, everything did amazing. So now all we have to do is uh, turn the other slide back on. We do have to go back into that control panel and uh, turn the other slide back on and we're ready to get back rolling. All right, so we are going to turn our business slide back on and there's our first pass. Second pass, third pass, four, and we're pretty much right on the money. Now we are good to go. Also, one other thing is that if you like this video, um, make sure you please like and subscribe. Help us grow. It gives us incentive to keep on doing stuff, you know, but, you know, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. As always, we appreciate your support and uh, leave us any comments. If, or if, there, if you have any ideas of modifications or things to check, drop us a comment here. Take care, y'all.